So here, the the equation of the curves are y square equals to four x and x square equals to four y, and the straight lines are x equals to zero and x equal to four, and y equals to zero and y equals to four. Now y equals to zero means it is the equation of x-axis, and x equals to zero means it is the equation of y-axis. Okay, so now let's draw the approximate graphs of these functions. Now let's say this is the x-axis and this is the y-axis. Now y square equals to 4x for that the graph will be approximately like this. y square equals to 4x and x square equals to 4y the graph will be somewhat like this this is x squared equals to 4 by <clears throat> and x equals to 0 is the equation of y-axis and x equals to 4 now at which point these two graphs will intersect how to find that now from here we can see y equals to x squared by 4 if we put that in place of y then we get x power 4 by 16 that is equals to 4x now, if we solve it, then we get x power 4 equals to 64x. It means if I take x as common, then we get x cubed minus 64, that is equals to 0. So from here, we get one is x equals to 0 and one is x equals to 4. So it means the, the x coordinate of the point where these two graphs intersect, that point is, at that point, the x coordinate is 4 and the y coordinate will be y square is 4 times 4, that is 4 square. So y also will be 4. So the point is 4, 4. So if we draw a straight line, which uh, which will pass through this point, that straight line will be x equals to 4. Now, and y equals to 0 is the x-axis. And y equals to 4 also will be the straight line which is parallel to the x-axis and which passes through this point of intersection. This is y equals to 4. Now, here it is asked, prove that these two curves uh, divide the area of the square. The square is this. This is the square as we know. Now, this square is divided into three equal parts. Means, if I take the area of this part, let's say this part is a1 then this part say it is a2 and this part is a3 the area of this part is a3 then we should prove that a1 will be equal to a2 will be equal to a3 this we have to prove this we have to prove since why it has been asked that these two curves it divide this square into these three equal parts now the coordinate of this point will be obviously 0 comma 4 the coordinate of this point is 4 comma 0 and this point is the origin which is 0 comma 0 so now now how to find the area a1 we can first we can find the yeah the area a1 how to find now The equation of this straight line is y equals to 4 and the equation of this straight line, uh, this part, the equation of this branch, which is above the x-axis, that will be y equals to 2 root x. It means that the, reg the area of the region A1, that will be equal to integral 4 minus 2 root x. And let's say we are integrating along the x-axis, so we should do integral y dx. So this will be y dx integral, and that is going from x equal to 0 to x equal to 4. Now the area of this region will be 4 integral dx 0 to 4 minus 2 integral root x dx. That is from 0 to 4. Now 4 
integral dx is x from 0 to 4 minus 2 into uh, this is x power half plus 1 by half plus 1 and this will go from 0 to 4 this will be equal to 4 into 4 minus 0 minus 2 into this will be 3 by 2 so it will become 2 by 3 x power 3 by 2 so that is 4 by 4 power 3 by 2 minus 0 power 3 by 2 so that will be equal to 4 4 just 16 minus 4 by 3 times this will be square root of 4 is 2 2 3 uh, so 2 power 3 that is 8 it will be 16 minus 32 by 3 so that is 16 3 is a 48 48 minus 32 that is 16 by 3 square units then in the same way we can find a2 a2 the area will be integral now this for this curve it is uh, y equals to x square by 4 so this curve is lying above this curve that's why we should write integral it will be 2 root x minus x square by 4 dx and that is going from 0 to 4 and a3 that will come as that will be uh, simply that will be integral x square by 4 into dx from 0 to 4. So therefore let's find out uh, so this will be therefore area a2 that is equal to integral 2 root x minus x square by 4 dx that is going from 0 to 4. So that will be equal to uh, 2 integral root x dx from 0 to 4 minus integral this is 1 by 4 x square dx and that is going from 0 to 4 and that will be equal to 2 this will be x power half plus 1 by half plus 1 and that will go from 0 to 4 minus this is 1 by 4 integral x square that is x cube by 3 that is going from 0 to 4 and that will be equal to 2 into 2 by 3 uh, 4 power 3 by 2 minus 0 power 3 by 2 minus this is 1 by 12 x cube that is 4 cube minus 0 cube so that will be equal to 4 by 3 times uh, 2 power 3 that is 8 minus 1 by 12 times 4 cube that is 64 so that is 4 3 is 12 16 4 is 64 so that is 32 minus 32 by 3 minus 16 by 3 that is also 16 by 3 square units And in the same way, A3, region A3, that will be equal to the integral x square by 4 dx from 0 to 4. So that will be equal to 1 by 4 integral x square dx, and that is going from 0 to 4. Now that will be equal to 1 by 4 integral x square is x cubed by 3, and is going from 0 to 4. So that will be 1 by 12 so 4 cube minus 0 cube. So that will be equal to 1 by 12 times Four cube that is 64 so that is 4 3 are 12, 64, 64 so that is also 16 by 3 square units so therefore we can see that the area of the regions a1 a2 and a3 all these three are equal which is equal to 16 by 3 square units so hence we can say hence the given curves the given parabolas we can say the given two parabolas uh, divide the square region divide the square region into into three equal parts three equal parts and screw okay thank you